Hi. Hello. Yeah, I see your sign. Jobs, not furloughs. Oh, what all? is that about? Well, I am here because I just am very dissatisfied with the way things are. And I'm not happy with the corporate bailouts. Where, where are the jobs? Mm -hmm. I mean the jobs they promised if we just did what they said. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They, We bailed them out. We gave them large sums of money. And where, where did it go? Who's it helping? Well, I happen to be concerned about nuclear things because, as far as I'm concerned, the nuclear industry is the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, poster child of corporations. They have their meetings, they, they make their plans and decisions, and they don't really consult anybody. They just figure out what's going to make them the most money. Mm -hmm. And they end up uh, deciding things like putting nuclear plants wherever they want, and then now, right now, they're trying to get dumps put in Canada that have something to do with the uh, uh, a dump on Lake Huron, which puts it on the Great Lakes. And uh, yeah, and the nuclear industry at first denied, but then uh, did finally admit because they have a list of 19 organizations, non-profit organizations, uh, women's groups, kids athletics, boy scouts, various uh, groups that they want and they sent them letters last summer say asking for their support, asking for them to write letters to the press, supporting the dump on Lake, the shore of Lake Huron, supporting the uh, uh, going to meetings and speaking up in support of that. So, if anything, the nuclear industry is a, a prime example of what corporations do, uh, either mildly or more less than mildly. Yes. <laughs> they support, either with people to be the scoutmaster or uh, some money to uh, help these different groups and so on. <laughs> that's, that's euphemistic. <laughs> yeah, wow. I'm afraid so. Yeah. That's... That's very dangerous. That's very dangerous, and it's what yeah. happens with un unchecked power. Yeah, um, you're so right. Well, thank you for being here and speaking up. American Federation of Government Bees. Now, are you a government employee, or don't you want to say? No, I am not a government oh, employee. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have a son and daughter who are, and yeah, they've had all kinds of, you know, they're going to have to postpone their retirement because they're going into their retirement funds that they've been saving up all these years because they were laid off for, what was it, 16 days when the government shut down? Oh. And, uh, I mean, it's just all kinds of things that, mm -hmm. yeah, uh-huh. So, thank you. Oh, thank you. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. Employee, ah, uh, let me see your sign. Okay. Oh, well, actually, I want to see the one on the other side first. Oh, okay. America is not for sale. Okay. Right here? Yeah, okay. great. And then the other one. Okay. And, well, uh-huh. Uh okay, and yes. now the other one on the other side here. Yes. Now, that looks like a play, but what yeah. are the stars? Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear a little better? Okay. Uh, Corporation. Hey, well, there are plenty of signs. If you find one you like, uh, Find one you don't like. I got the American Dream is in the bunker here, over here. Uh, but grab a sign, have some fun here while we're gathering, getting ready for our program. Oh, you more. Sure yeah. Why you're here? Because this message needs to be given and people need to understand it. Our government, is, our government is not democratic, it's not run by the people. From here. It's yeah. run by corporations. Yeah. And we have, we have no voice. So this is an attempt to have a voice. Oh, ho. Yes. Hey, hey. Oh, ho. Corrupt chain has got to go. Oh, ho. Okay, we got a few copies being passed out here. We had a few. No, we are the many. We are the many. Yes, we are. Most people we know.
Uh, okay, we know this one very easily. Wall Street, Mean Street. 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 Okay, we got the hang of it. Mean Street. That's good. Next one doesn't sound too melodic. I like that. Wealth for the few, poverty for too many. Maybe we don't know. Poverty for me and you. Wealth for the few, poverty for many. 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 Wealth for the few. Poverty for many. Hey, well, hey. hey, 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 ho, ho, corruption yes. has got to go, hey, hey, ho, ho, ho. corruption has got to go, hey, hey, ho, ho, corruption has got to go, hey, hey, ho, ho, corruption has got to go, hey, hey, ho, ho, show me corruption, show me corruption, profit at any cost, Privilege for, for the, the top, top. Control, control by, by the few. few. You show me corruption. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Right. Profit at any cost. Any cost. Privilege, Privilege for, for the few. Top. Control by the few. few. I say show me. Show yeah. Corruption. Nuclear Profit. industry. Privilege for the top. Control by the few. few. <laughs> Nuclear industry is their poster child. They do all of that and then some. <laughs> Did you hear that? Military industry is their poster child. Yes. They do all of that and then some. So many shenanigans. We know them, even though they're in the dark. They're shady. Uh, we can't take away the agency by using the word corruption. There are corruptors, worse than raptors. Mm -hmm. Corruptors divide. Who will unite? We, we the, the people. people. We the people. Again. Corruptors, Corruptors divide. divide. Who, Who will unite? We, we the, the people. people. Corruptors breed fear. Who will breed courage? We, we the, the people. people. Corruptors bribe, buy, and sell. Who will open those swinging doors? We, we the, the people. people. Corruption destroys, who will protect? We, we the, the people. people. Corruption lies, who knows the truth? We, we the people. Corruption controls at every level, local, state, national, international. Who will lead? We, we the, the people. people. Corruption shuts down. Corruption shrinks. Corruption stalls. Who will rebuild our country? We the people. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Corruption has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Corruption has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Corruption has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Corruption has got to go. Hey, hey. Oh, oh, thank you. Corruption has got, got to go. go. Hey, hey. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Yeah. Corruption has okay, got Mike, to go. Yeah, I'm tired of corporate warfare. Oh, we got, we got some more? It's not a green warfare. It's not, not warfare, it's occupation. Yeah, yes, it is. Occupation. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, thanks for starting me up. How are you? We've got a couple more chants for you here. Uh, <clears throat> all you have to do is get ready and uh, answer the question, when do we want it? Now. <laughs> but they don't know what it is. All right, you, all right, you repeat after me the first part. We want finance reform. We want finance reform. When do we want it? Now. Again, we want finance reform. We want finance reform. When do we want it? Now. Okay. 
We want bribery to stop. When do we want it? Now! Repeat after me. We want bribery to stop. We want bribery to stop. When do we want it? Now! Good. All right. Repeat after me. We want lobby reform. We want lobby reform. When do we want it? Now! Good. Okay. <laughs> well, those are some of the themes we're going to be touching on today. And we have a program of speakers and some fun things to do. We'll wrap it up with a song, The Halls of Congress, uh, sung by the Move to Amend Chorus. <laughs> they, they seem to have enough people here, anyway. And they've rehearsed it, so here we go. Uh, Michael Stauffer, who helped organize this, and Barb yes. Code and others, thank you for doing it. Uh, who's going to introduce the program? My first time with this thing. Can you hear me? <laughs> right up here. Closer. Keep it close to your mouth. Okay, we have a few speakers who are going to come up. And <laughs> we have a few people to who have something to say, some experiences to share. So um, I guess I just start calling them up. <laughs> uh, Shirley Calio. We'll be talking about, from Sierra Club, we'll be talking about environmental issues, the impact of corporate America on our environment. Thanks yeah. for coming, All right. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Y
This phenomenon, what the industry and friends hail as a blessing, but what environmental realists see as a curse, is driven by the relatively new extreme extraction method known as high volume hydraulic directional drilling in tight or relatively tight shales and carbonate layers, the site of naturally sequestered hydrocarbons for millennia. Commonly referred to as fracking <laughs> and used equally effectively for previously hard to get oil as well as natural gas, poll numbers across the nation show public opposition growing. Less for its contribution to global warming, however, than for its impact on water supplies, air quality, public infrastructure, public health, and community quality of life. But as real measurements now by NOAA and the USGS are now being taken of methane leakage and CO2 emissions from methane flaring, natural gas looks less and less like a possible mitigator of climate change and more and more like a contributor. And while NPR airs comforting little ads touting natural gas as a clean energy, the industry is scurrying to frack for profitable oil under the guise of providing for the public good and burns methane in the North Dakota oil fields with abandon. And while fractivists fight to protect their homes and communities at the local level, the wheels in Washington continue to turn in the opposite direction in, in the form of, number one, a new trade agreement, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which would significantly impair environmental protections in all participating countries. Number two, permitting the building of export facilities for liquid natural gas, which will drive up demand for gas from our geology. And number three, continue to entertain the completion of the Keystone Pipeline, what James Hansen has called the fuse to the carbon bomb. We are already, one scientist has called a spasm of mass extinction. I have heard my peers say in so many words that it's up to the young people to address climate change, that it has always been the young people who have engaged in the necessary activism, that that is their role, not ours. I say to you, it is up to us, to all of us, right. to address climate change. Left to the young, it will be too late. Right. We must find ways to act now, all of us. Yeah. Joanna Macy, eco-philosopher, Buddhist scholar, activist, and teacher, speaks of the great turning from an entrenched, militarized, industrial growth society to a life-sustaining civilization, a movement that is already underway, the largest social movement of human history, what Paul Hawken in his book, Blessed Unrest, calls the movement with no name. Hawken, in 2007, suggested a figure of two million grassroots groups and non-governmental organizations for social justice, indigenous rights, and environmental sanity, and growing. And each of those groups represents a yet vaster number of individuals who, in some way or another, and each uniquely in their own fashion, are hearing the call to widen the notions of their self-interest and act for the sake of life on earth. I encourage you, if you haven't already, join the movement. Barbara Steingraber speaks of the Save the Planet Symphony, in which we all need to learn to play. I challenge you, find your section in that symphony and begin. Like all true revelation, revolutions, the great turning belongs to the people not the industry, nor party politicians, nor military generals, or media celebrities. The power of this revolution lies in the fact that it comes from people of all ages and backgrounds as they engage in actions on behalf of life itself. Find your friends.
Shirley. Yeah. Uh, in a footnote to what Shirley had to say, I don't know if you saw it in the press last week, but the United Nations scientists have released a report that the air we're breathing right now, okay, this air around this whole planet is officially toxic and a carth carthogenic. Okay, so we have entered a new phase where there is no such thing as clean air anymore on this planet. And it's going to get worse. It's not the Constitution. <laughs> Next up, Judy Bookman talking about the military industrial complex. <coughs> Woo! Yeah! My history is our teacher, and I work with illiteracy. These are, these are, are little kids in middle state. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. There's a trigger finger here, and I'm, I'm, I'm good at triggers. <laughs> okay. um, so one of the things I learned from them is, what is a million? And if you get a chance, go to the library and get that book, because it tells you how many dollars go out to make a million. But they say at the end, be sure you let your representatives know that a million is not the same as a billion. It's not the same as a trillion. And I want you to know that 1.4 trillion has been used in the 10 years in Iraq and Afghanistan. Do you know what would happen with that 10 years? It, it would make, um, we all, everyone in the U.S. could have um, healthcare for 10 years. That's what we're talking about. Who's the leaders that are using our uh, uh, monies? We owe over $15 trillion around the world. Who's making these decisions? Who's making the money off of that? It's yeah. not you and I. It's not for our schools. It's going for military. We need to stand up and say we want the money for our children, for our cities. Yeah. We want safe streets. Uh, Deborah, our Senator Stabenow, is going before the House. She's well respected. You need to contact her now. I have a few letters if you need them. She has power there. She needs to know that we do not want our money for military. Right. We need things for our schools. We need things now. Yeah. Please take yeah. this now. She's going to soon. So contact on this. Thanks. Yes. Yay. Wonderful. Yeah. 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 Somebody likes us. We've got sunshine today. Sunshine. Yeah. Yes. Oh. I couldn't afford a senator, so I bought this card. Hey. All right. You want to say a little more about it? No, that's all right. Okay. Thank you. I really can't afford a senator. I say quite a few million. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're all millionaires now. Oh, <sighs> yeah, yeah. Whoops.
Just a few nights ago, a man came over to me with four pieces of paper. He was never served a legal notice. The bank now wants to sue him, not for a few dollars, but for $31,000 and took Ooh. away his paycheck. Oh. This is the new game that the banks are going to play because the foreclosures continue to happen. They were so happy to give him a loan. He's an immigrant that pays taxes with a tax ID number. And they said, no, you're stuck in that mortgage. We'll give, we'll give your neighbor a new loan, but we're not going to give you one. This is financial abuse. Wall and it ruins Street. your neighborhoods. Wall, Wall Street, Street Mean Street. Wall 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 Street Mean Street. Now, we also want to address senior citizens. They were offered these great deals. Refi, fix up your home a little bit for repairs. They are now kicking out 85-year-old women out of their home. This is irrehensible. This is disgusting. We need to stand up to Wall Street. And uh, there was a, a good man that they wanted to oversight, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. And what did the House do? They blocked the vote. They would not appoint a new financial oversight person. You need to call Congress today, the House of Reps, and tell them to get up there and support good people that care about us. So we're going to let Wall Street know that they are mean, and we're not going to put up with it anymore. Wall, Wall Street, Street, Mean Street. Wall 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 Street, Mean Street. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Next we'll have Brandon talking about activism. Okay. Woo! Yeah! Woo!